Hi, my name's Fleur Green. I'm the Vicar of St Peter's here in Darwin and also the Advisor for Women's Ministry in the Blackburn Diocese. I believe that God has called me to be a priest in his church and I believe that my calling first came when I was 16 and at school, secondary school, so my calls in Chorley and we had somebody come to talk to us about vocations and that was really the seed that was sown for me to look at what it was that God was calling me to do. Um, it's been a quite a long journey, it was quite a long journey at the time and uh, has been a continuation of a journey and I think that although we think of vocation perhaps as being a point in time, uh, calling as a point in time, actually a vocation continues throughout your life, it changes and God calls us to different things as we, as we move through life. Vocation is what we're called to do. That's what it means to me and it's not necessarily just about being ordained but it's about exploring what sort of thing that God might be calling us to. I believe that people who are in the medical profession, teachers, people who work in all walks of life, they all have a vocation to that way of life. Although people tend to think of vocation being more towards being ordained, I think it's much wider than that, the term vocation. It's, it's about exploring what we're called to in life. to experience being called by God is something that's not really quantifiable. It's not like a scientific um, equation where X plus Y equals Z. It's, it's, it's something more than that, something that's not necessarily actually tangible, but you know through prayer, through reading scripture, through worship, through spending time with God, you have that almost two-way conversation. You ask God and God replies. And it might be through all sorts of different ways. If I think back to my own calling, I felt that it was very much through things that I read and through conversations I had with other people that were sort of guiding me in the direction of being ordained as well as what I felt myself. I suppose it was sort of a testing out through other ways. When exploring my vocation, when I was younger, I had a very good teacher at, when I moved on to St Wilfrid's called Joyce Bentley. Um, she was uh, a lovely person, she taught me RE, and she was one of the first people, aside from my family, that I told that I was thinking about, you know, ordained ministry. And she was very supportive, very kind, listened to me, talked to me, did some of that testing, that very early testing. I was very fortunate then when I went on to university to have some very, a very supportive chaplain there who again, he was, he was very good and used to dealing with people who were perhaps exploring their vocation in that sort of like late teens, early twenties time. I've also always found a great help from reading scripture. I've always found that through the words of scripture I've received great comfort and great guidance. And I suppose it's a combination of that and also talking to other people. Mm -hmm.